Hey, what's up guys? Elton here. Uh, yeah, I started recording Gloria there. She was meowing and then she got on my lap and then I started filming this. I'm like, why in the hell does this have like this blue haze over it? I'm like, I'm using a camera phone. I mean, even the Nikon B500 tends to do that. It has a tendency for bluish kind of texture, green especially. This is exactly how I want it to look. I don't want you to show you this thing. I'm all proud working on it. It's unique and vintage style. And it's all blue. No, no, no. I, now it's exactly as I see it with the phone. That's what I love about this phone, the exactitude of the picture. Uh, so anyway, yeah, it's going uh, real well. Um, I, as you can see, uh, most important to start off, I was able to almost match uh, that brown color these buses were. And it's funny because I think it's the first time in hindsight that I've ever done, uh, you know, this series of types of drawings, you know, like I've shown before, like the Capri over there. I did back when I was like 18, and then there's this one here I did some years ago with the Lincoln and Elio's Pizza. Then there's this one I did when I was, again, about 18. But then I don't think I ever did a drawing, because, like, you know, at that point, when I started doing this series of, you know, old cars, old vehicles, you know, they weren't, the color wasn't so much important in terms of if it had to be exactly like in a picture. No, no, it was usually, it was always different from the picture I was using. Whatever the picture, from a magazine, a book. But this is one of Montreal's, uh, you know, as I mentioned before, if you haven't seen, I'm using this picture that I took of this same bus, but this one was restored in like 2003 about, and this was in Granby, Quebec, and uh, I had the photo blown up. It's a 52 Brill, and uh, it worked up until uh, 1982 in the southwest boroughs of Montreal, like Verdun, and, and you know, NDG, and uh, Point St. Charles, and all that stuff, Lachine, LaSalle. And uh, anyway, so yeah, so, but years later in the 60s, they weren't this color anymore, right? When they were rebuilt, they were repainted this color. And this is as close to the color as I can match it uh, with paint. And it looks great. I'm really happy with it. It's terrific. This cloud I just did, it's kind of, it's going to need more work. And unfortunately, I put so much more paint here than here. That's why it's gotten the paper is all wavy. Just to show you those who weren't following every one of these segments, I'm not tracing this in any way. This is, you know, either, this is, again, from pictures I'm using, this is years of experience of drawing. It doesn't come overnight. I mean, I'm 43 years old, and I started drawing when I was five. So think about that. That's almost 30 years, man. You know, sorry, wait a minute. Did I say 30 years? My God, is that almost 40 years? Whew. Wow, that's crazy. It's not, okay, it's not 40, but it's almost. I mean, there's maybe... I think between I was five and like now, I think there was maybe, maybe two, maybe three years where I didn't draw anything, but I don't know about that. Are you in my chair, you? What are you doing in daddy's chair? Hey, you want daddy's warmth? Little pig, he always wants food. Eh? Meow. Meow. So anyway, again, this is going real, a lot, lot better. That dark chocolate brown like this before, it just didn't go with it. The only way I would have worked in this drawing would have been if, is if, if the background like was more like today, you know, like a gray sky and, uh, you know, rain or whatever, then things look generally darker, you know, no sun and all that. So, uh, also I have to, I'm going to have to take some orange and fix this here, get rid of this line I put by mistake. Uh, also put this one by mistake, I'll have to fix that. Hey, worst case scenario, I'll just repaint the whole fucking thing orange. That triangle there, and I love the look of that station. Um, this is what pick, makes me proud to be a Montrealer, you know? And, um, what else? Oh yeah, and I of course did the Metro uh, symbol with the uh, writing. LaSalle, but you can see I'm gonna have to retouch this all over again. So you see, it's not it's not uh, this that did the 58 route. It's not, uh, it's easy to do and it's not easy to do. I don't know, it's not really easy to do. So I'm going to have to take some paint and fix all this here. Especially the taro. And, but that cloud's really going to lead a lot of fixing. I'm starting to regret having done that because, I mean, when it's framed, that those waves won't, they'll flatten out. But still, the cloud looks like it needs a lot of work. And the reason why I did that cloud is because, again, like I mentioned, these fucking cheap markers are crap. Okay, I've got these at a the dollar store. All I was able to color was like this. That's it. And it was already a second coat. And again, like I said, I didn't feel like painting that again. The sky. You know, lesson learned next time I will. So anyway, I figured, well, I'll stick a cloud here since I ran out instead of buying more of these shit markers or matching the color or whatever, you know. So it's summer in the city here in Montreal and elsewhere. And uh, I guess maybe 
this is a representation of summer in Montreal in 82, you know. So anyway, uh, hope uh, you guys enjoy it, and you know, I welcome your, uh, your comments, and uh, Elden saying, uh, take it easy. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.